исключи. Э, исключи. First. Slow is really OP here. Yeah, now we go mid. Barrier. Should Q always before free shot there too. It's a bit hard to with the hundred and something thing. Your actions don't always get uh, registered. It's a bit weird, but I will go top. What's going on guys with IC and in today's video we're gonna learn how to play AD carry if you want to learn how to play 1v2 if you want to learn perfect macro if, if you want to learn how to win on AD carry even if you don't have the best mechanics in the world this is Emerald to Diamond Yellow and this is 170 ping gene this game it was very 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 good showcase on how you can carry the game so if you truly want to get better make sure you subscribe to this channel like hit the notification bell and make sure you watch this until the end because this is gonna teach you all of the fundamentals you need until basically master team Enjoy. So it has to be a very easy game. But in a, again, this is a theoretical level, right? This is a theoretical level. You never know what's gonna happen in solo cultures. They have bad fundamentals. This is just fire metal, right? I expect them to but I expect them to do a lot of mistakes and to punish them. Hopefully we can actually do that. Let's see. The dragon responds five minutes after its death. That is so useless. I need to, no, I don't need long sword. I like the HP here. Okay, Jarvan, they're gonna cage me probably to kill me the thing is they have very this is a very very bad comp they have here no engage no reliable engage other than general okay they might just be invading maybe not Should like always win this do not leash is it is it okay oh shit i don't know why they invade because they lose this that's why i actually stay there it's like i'm never gonna lose this I think you know, I should think not uh, go for the invade. I knew we we're gonna win this. I always press tab when uh, they invade to see if they can invade. And here I was like, okay, I'm gonna stay in the brush because they're definitely not gonna invade this comp. And then I was okay, they have karma maybe, but then I was like, okay, but the other champs are so useless. And when I saw Javan being top, I was like, they definitely don't invade. But yeah, I was confident. I pressed tab, I knew they can't invade. Nila should actually do that as well. Should just uh, think them to not go for the invade. It was on them a lot here. This means this first, but anything else? I my three camps into both. This is media support. And obvious. Nice. I don't know why I'm pushing though. That's a good question. Oh, he's coming back both. What? He yeah. should always die here. Look, they have wood. They have words. Might have. Okay, it's pressure, thanks. Wow, she has 12 farm on Nila. It's huge. Huge. Okay, just to push this F lead, so stay. Okay, 
So we need to punish him. He wants to get the cannon. Farming. He actually lost a lot of time, tempo. Is this a cannon? Well, not really, but I don't think they can push it too fast. Feel do I need it? I mean, they have melee or W. It's a mistake, they should not push this. They push it very slow. They should immediately make my recall. Please. Please, 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 please. Ah, I should type faster. And stop recall, sir. Nice. Well played. Awesome, this is really good. No problem. Jalan comes here is really good because he's gonna he's not gonna kill me. Okay, let me just bait this guy. Please kill the minions and last it. Can I body block my minions so it's gonna come into us? I'll try. I don't want to stop him though, because now he's on the two. I thought Lulu is gonna come to me. No who else can come to me. I have 50 farm in 6 minutes with 160 ping and 35 mila. Okay. Not sure here. Guy's yeah, gonna be around. Okay. So for some reason we're top playing with Lulu. Bit annoying, but okay, they can't freeze, it's only 3 minions there. I think they can properly. Oh, that was a misclick. Sorry for that. I'm gonna put it there, I don't wanna put it close to the brush. Maybe a pink word. Are you an AD carry main struggling to make an impact in your games? Is your damage output disappointingly low, leaving you feeling frustrated and powerless in the role you love? Introducing our specialized coaching program designed to supercharge your AD carry performance. Imagine a world where your damage, decision making and farming skills are 10 times better and the outcome of your games is no longer left to chance. Meet Chase, just like you, he was once stuck in the same position, facing low damage and inconsistency in his games. Let's see what happened after his coaching experience, from Diamond 4 to Master Tier. Wow! And here is Jordan and Brett. Both transform into formidable AD carry after the coaching session. These success stories aren't just isolated cases, they are a part of a community of over 3,243 players who benefited from the coaching program. If it worked for them, why not for you? Picture yourself as an unstoppable AD carry. It's not a dream, it's your potential with the coaching session. Don't wait any longer, visit Visite.com, book your coaching and become the AD carry the enemy team hates to play against. Yeah. I was ahead, but it's okay. They're gonna be pretty ahead. I think they can freeze the cannon even they don't have four full minions. Yeah. Coming to us. I'm gonna get on an angle where she can't tank the W. Yeah. He should always tank the W. Stay on the down angle in case Jarvan is here. We're taking the whole jungle, so he's definitely there. So we just need to play it solo. Solo. As we know, it's always both here, right? We should ulti here with this I'm gonna keep the wave here, playing weak sides, no reason to push here. Jarvan should be in the brush. If I'm Jarvan, I'm in the brush. I think I should not be placed there. Get put here. Another discussion. Thank you. Hit it. Problem. He should not come. Well, he should come and just focus the. Nice try. Next time, go on Milio. Milio. Very bad play though. It's okay. He tried. Is this, is this guy has always the here. He should recall instantly. Shouldn't push this is a cannon wave. Should again match my recalls. Unless she can push it incredibly fast, which she can do it pretty fast though, but again, it's a cannon. Okay, and we stop it the recourse again. Really huge. Okay, big mistake. It could work. No sums is the cannon for that. It was played. So I'm 
I actually worth it there. This game is the cannon, but it's hopefully two solo plates here. Nice, Lulu Diana is not balanced. Do have a really strong comp. I should definitely dodge if I'm enemy team. I have 80 farm, this guy is 76. I mean, I was on V2 kind of, I wouldn't say the whole lane. Definitely lose stayed in the lane. That was a lot on V2. So I was like 20 CS ahead at some point. I'm gonna ping that it's worth it because I get 5 gold. We'll be here. Don't die. Lulu is again making a weak side. Diana is top side. It's okay, we get it. Really continue. Probably they can't re kill me. So freeze, should I stay? If they freeze, I stay. Yeah, they can't freeze here with your minions. Don't know that. If they freeze and they are smart, I mean, you need to freeze with four minions. Or you can also do it to three full HP minions if it's a non cannon, which it was the case. But you usually need four minions, they fucked up, they hit too much, and then they show they can't freeze. They will lose this game. Nila needs to play like very, very well this game to win. What does very well mean? Well, very well by my standards, it means. But again, we go on this guy. Dodge that combo. Why do we go on Why don't we just go on Milio though? Milio gets better once he if we go on him. We're just throwing the game is a bit. Milio is insta dead. He can't ult if he is stunned. I'm just gonna meet everyone in case they will say something. Because MRL players usually they always think they're right, so I'm just gonna avoid tilting. Nice try though. My bad anyways. I'll just say like this so he doesn't like think I'm you know, pushing him in a way. See if I say something bad, he's probably never gonna come again. He has four deaths. I'm gonna act like I don't really wanna do anything. And now I will do it. I'm not gonna double it here. I'll wait the flash. Yeah, that's why. Okay, it's really strong. Game is over right now. It get plates too. Oh, like this. Lulu is perma roaming, but maybe he's duo with this guy. Double it here again. Let's keep ourselves safe. We have so much vision. I'm gonna be super ahead. One level up on Nila as well. Actually having a lot of plates, she doesn't. And I was on V2. And I would say that Diana helped slightly more than Jarvan. Even though I wouldn't jump and say that she did a lot more because Jarvan also came pretty a lot. Nice, we have six void links so. Just as plate is coming. Just as plate is here, right? Oh, he has no ulti. Not only gonna ulti unless, yep. Dodge is really obvious. I missed a lot. I bet. A bit more patient. Need to get better with 169 ping. I, fought, I fought because I saw the guy being easy gonna combo. He's staring aftershock, but he plays more first item. I'm gonna predict his EQ. Oh. Take this really easy six platings. It's gonna get slow so much. The slow of uh, Jin E stacks, right? If I put two in a row like this. Yeah. No mana. We need this if he goes. He flashed for nothing. Really good. Really good. Something tells me that they'll die there. Gonna get 
let's get up a fair cannon. Because I have Lulu here and I, she's gonna double me and I'm gonna utilize it. But I think that it's better to get infinity probably if I don't have Lulu. It's Jarvan and Note, then this guy will always go in. They have to. And if I get BF and just get uh, oh, dead. Let's get infinity into Lordom. It's, it's okay, I'm pretty ahead now, so. Hit. Important to not get the kill though. No, I don't like that she's taking everything. Like I don't like that. It's the kind of player that kind of makes me feel like she's gonna like take all of the kills, die once, throw everything, and then. Jean, why don't you carry? And it kills. Always take the kill, and it's important to ping as well, like I did there, so she knows that I'm mad that she took my farm. Like, not I'm mad, but I'm like setting up boundary. Okay, this is a mistake. I'll do this bait actually back though, okay. This guy is very squishy though. Very squishy. Perfect double lift. 1.2. The mid wave. I don't know what Lulu is really having missions or something. Q, huh? I'm gonna have the item now. Okay, we can just reset for trade. Nice farming well, but I mean, it's that kind of player that makes me feel like she's just dying for farm for waves. She's always overextended. There's three deaths and she has the same farm, and I was on V2. I think it's fine. It's not bad. Still missed a lot of minions. Oh. Okay, that was my uh, slow, I think, from the E. Easier. It's a really, really OP. The W. Oh. Definitely there, right? Don't think the Jarvan can really do anything there. But if it's super tanky, yeah, it looks like a slow game. Not necessarily, though. Nasus. Go in here. This will definitely save me here. Squishy. Okay, yeah, he's squishy. first slow is really OP here yeah, now we go mid barrier should Q always before free shot there too it's a bit hard to do with 100 and something ping your actions don't always get uh, registered it's a bit weird but I'll go top Recall here. Mm, recall here. That was a good TP, huh? Not so TP. I don't know if I'm gonna regret it for not getting Lord Dominix, because if Nasus gets like a shutdown now and he starts building armor, I'm probably not gonna do so much damage though. And he already does so much damage. How many stacks does he have? I'm wondering. Diana is definitely just a metal player, he should have recalled after the play, she has like 3k gold right now. Then she's gonna get coaching and ask, oh why are, why are we, why am I not able to win this game? Well you can't convert the game into a win because you're not recalling after you make a big play, you have so much gold that you're playing for kills, not for objectives. Let's do predict him. Ah, my bad. To the dash, bro. Yeah, well, he's gonna pentakill. 
I lost the game in the draft, but if they win lane, they still win the game. This is Patriots on him, yeah. Gonna dodge like that, I can have 10,000 ping and I know it. Dodge so many players of his rank. Wow, he's actually doing this. Not too bad. Oh, Diana is actually farming. She has like 5k gold. But what is she doing? She's actually having 5k gold right now. She didn't recall for a while, even here. And she's not saying, but she's not recalling. She's just AFK. That is pretty bad actually. Okay, should have better map or it's still my bad. Now she's gonna buy three items literally. Oh my god bro. That's how you remember it. But it's still my bad that I died there, she never die. Let's see how many items she buys. I think two items and she buys minimum one item and a half. Is she actually the wait why didn't she get like a full item she got like magis which is 1000 gold and this is which is 1250 she had over 2000 gold okay well whatever I, I am just focusing too much on her just need a whole perma farm and perma get xp oh yeah I'm now because i pinged that's why you guys should never ping never ever 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 because now we'll do this and guess what if she dies I need to carry the game, but I don't have so many resources. I do, but it's still losable. Ah, oh, let's stop it. Yeah, but what is he doing? Oh, okay. He get Drake, I think, or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, he doesn't have ult, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> I guess we play in a way. Scared of Nasus. I don't have plants. The OP champ. I have Lulu. I like this one. Pretty ulti from far away. Like my ease. Should go Drake. Stana is so troll. She can, these people, like, it's annoying because the players have 20 kills. They can have 20 kills. They will still not carry. You will still have, like, big emotions with them. It's like, are they gonna carry? Are they gonna just. They call it 5k gold again. You can lose this for sure. So be very careful. Smite it. You auto run. You auto run. They go QSS, they go Lord Dominix. I think I'm fine without QSS. Elaise already one level up on me. Let's say she does damage, but she's a like, of farming. Well, then the farm is always stolen by Diana. Probably gonna report her if we don't win this game, like taking everything. Need her help. That's the thing, right? He's just rolling the game. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's really good. Let's 
esto. Oops, technically, I want to for that. And this time I really deserve the port. Okay. Nice. She won't carry shit, that's the annoying part. You take. That's why I hate this kind of emerald players. They take everything, they take your farm, they take everything. Guess what? They're completely useless. Please, please, like, the fuck. They're super ahead, anyways. And she will get Rabadons. To get Nash and play it slow. I sort of get stronger and stronger. It's a bit scary. Mila has no flash. Nine seconds. Soul point. Is ocean. Kind of useless, I would say. Play slow, play slow for waves. Yeah. They can't be too much. This Diana is <laughs> I don't, don't think she carried this game. I don't have W, but now I do. I really don't like to play in Emerald sometimes for these things. Get 20 kills on Diana, 8 0. Have 244 farm. Guess what? I, mean, I even said she will throw, she will not do anything. This game. She went too deep here and we actually end up winning because we we're ahead, not because she did good. It's just really annoying. It's just really annoying. I don't know. Just give me the farm, okay? I don't ask you for the game, but give me the farm. I'm gonna carry anyways. Like, okay, let's see the damage. But she had 10 farm per minute, 11 farm per minute. So she has to have like a lot of... Guess what? Just give the AD carry the farm. I will carry. Just the farm. I'm not asking you for the kill. You are not good. You are Emerald. Just give the AD carry the farm. If you're like Grandmaster and do this in Emerald, sure. I don't care. You carry whatever. But look at this. And I didn't need money. I did 34,000 damage. Well, that's not actually bad. 34 and 28. Who was top the whole game? And this, this guy, I'll just look at his win rate. It's like Emerald 1 hard stack. 400 games in Emerald. If this guy books 3 coaching sessions, he's getting to Masters. He's just flipping some coins. I wouldn't call it League of Legends. Five dollars. If you have problems improving and getting better in the game faster, but you cannot afford booking coaching on my Patreon, you can access more than 627 VOD reviews, premium videos about how to wave management, mid game macro, and tire lists that will show you the best champions to climb and to improve for your ELO. And these are not on YouTube, this is only on Patreon, they're exclusive. Moreover, you can participate in the free coaching waiting list to get a premium VOD review. I'm giving away two free VOD reviews every single week. All what you need to do is simply two-step process subscribe to my patreon and share your opgg and voila you are on the waiting list you're gonna get a personalized vote review for any game in your match history for just five dollars you get not only the free vote review but a whole bunch of exclusive benefits that will supercharge your gaming experience it's a small investment for a big return and it's just five dollars it's no brain right but here is the deal you've got to act quickly the waiting list is already filling up fast 55 people already subscribed to the patreon and there are six people that they are already are on board they are on the waiting list and more are joining every moment now do you want to secure your spot for a free vote go ahead on my patreon and reserve it right now